Hello, Odile here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. And uh, I just wanted to uh, share with you, I'm going to be doing a what I hope is a big market um, on the 30th of September. And I've been, I'm hoping it's going to at least be better than my last market. Watch my previous video of my last market if you haven't yet to find out what happened with that. So um, I'm prepping for the one on the 20, uh, on the 30th of September rather, and the event is for Jeep owners. So it's um, it's a an event for Jeep owners, and they've got a craft market as well. And they had said if you can do something that is related to Jeeps, that would be great. You don't have to, but if you can, that'd be great. So I thought definitely rubber ducks. And of course, if you don't know about Jeeps and rubber ducks, Google it. Uh, so I thought, okay, I, can, I know I can definitely make rubber ducks and I'll try and make Jeeps as well. That'd be fantastic. I'm sure there's a way to crochet Jeeps. And so I um, did some research. I couldn't find any tutorials on YouTube but I found um, a couple of patterns, they weren't great. And then I found this one pattern, I thought, that looks pretty good, that, that looks like a nice Jeep. It's done in acrylic, but I am using um, plush yarns. So I had a go. So um, I'm going to share the footage of the process of the Jeep um, debacle. And um, I'm gonna insert that here. And so now um, this is where I'm up to so <laughs> this is how it's turned out and I have stopped now because now I don't know whether to finish it or not it did not come out the way I expected or the way the picture expect uh, the picture came out so um, this is the Jeep uh, and um, as you can see it's not just a little wonky <laughs> and um, obviously it's it's not what one would hope for um it took forever it's taken this whole week pretty much until uh i gave up on it yesterday well gave up i paused on it yes yesterday i thought you know what i'm not going to carry on for the moment i'm going to do something that's a little more um encouraging like ducks and uh so this is um this is where I'm up to. There's uh, one wheel that needs to be attached still. And then there's fenders and the bumpers and the side view mirrors. But I don't think that I can, <laughs> I don't think I can sell this. Um, I can maybe, I don't know, give it to someone or something. Anyway, so I've stopped with that for now. 
but I thought I'd just let you know how it went. So moving on to the ducks, I, oh, first of all, I did um, earlier this week, I did a big ghost, I think I've shared this with you already, and a little ghost. Okay, so there's those, I'm going to do more of those as well. And so now I did these ducks, I did this duck, which I believe I shared with you earlier, and then I did an additional one of that size. This one, um, unfortunately the eye is coming out, I don't know where, there, if you can see it, the eye is literally like coming out. And so I'm assuming it's because I used um, too big a hook. I, th this one I used a smaller hook and these eyes seem to be okay. Now, my question is, does anyone know what to do with an eye that's already coming out? So this one seems fine um, because I know that people have various ways of making sure they stay in in the first place and that's what I've started doing now. I put a piece of fabric between the eye itself and the washer to make them stay in, but I don't know what to do about this one. I'm wondering if I can, um, I'm wondering if I can like super, uh, not super glue, um, hot, hot glue it in. I could, I could have a go at that. Anyway, if anyone knows, has any ideas for it, um, I'd really appreciate in the comments below. And if it comes to, you know, next week or something and I have to make a decision and there aren't any other suggestions, I'll try hot gluing it. All right. And then yesterday I made these three cuties. These three rubber ducks and so there they are. I love them a lot and I'm going to make a lot more of them and I will, I will make a couple more yellow ones and then some in different colors and I want to try doing them with different kind of accessories and personalities and things. I think I'm going to do some with some fun hair and I don't know I thought I'd just do some fun uh, variations. All right, and then, so we are Sunday, it's Sunday now. I have just under two weeks until this market. So I'm going to take obviously everything I took to the previous market because none of it's sold. So I'll have all of that so you can see what's there from that, um, that video because I won't redo all of that. And then I'll just keep you updated on what I'm making um, uh, up, running up to this, uh, this big one on the 30th. Hello again. All right. So it is Wednesday, the uh, August, I mean, <laughs> it's Wednesday, September 20th and the big Jeep event, um, the craft market at the Jeep event is in a week and a half. And I, you know, I'm sure others have felt this as well. I don't know, but for me, I, I keep feeling like I'm I can do a lot more than I can. I keep thinking, oh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make a whole bunch of those, and I end up being able to make two. So I am, I'm working on more realistic expectations. And so, uh, when last did I speak to you? I think it was probably Sunday. So in since Sunday, the last couple of days, I've managed to make these. I've made. Um, I've got into Triceratops and I've become so hooked on them. They are so cute. And I have to say this pattern is really, really good. Um, I will put a link to uh, the tutorial in the description of this video, of course. And um, it's, it's very easy. I, of course, keep making this and keep having to unravel and redo because I've got the wrong number of stitches. But the more I'm doing it, I am getting better at it and a little bit faster. So at the moment, these take me about an hour and a half each to make, um, where the, the, the big ones, and then I've also got the small ones, they both take about an hour and a half because it's just the size of the yarn and the needle that changes. So I've got this um, lavender, uh, it doesn't look lavender on the camera, but it is lavender. Oh, it's changing from lavender to blue. Anyway, it is lavender and it's lovely. And then I've got a little blue one. He's very cute. And then I have a pink, a light pink. It's a sort of baby pink. 
um, and then a sort of lime green mm -hmm. and a another kind of green, um, a sort of bluey green kind of thing. And then uh, last night I made this bright pink one. Now this one, <laughs> this one, I I was watching videos, of course, while I was crocheting, and I made the whole thing, and I got to the end over here where I would, you know, I started to finish off. I was about to cut the yarn. And I realized it had no eyes and no horns. I'd forgotten to stop to put the eyes in and, and sew these horns on. So um, because these horns are done the way he does them in the tutorial, it's really, really easy. It's really good, but you need to be able to tie them on the inside. So I had to unravel all the way up to, you know, up to the, the sort of middle, take out the stuffing to redo it. But anyway, it got there in the end. So that's what I have as far as the Triceratops go. And I want to do like loads more, but I'm trying to um, allocate my time sensibly. And of course, with it being this time of year, I want to do um, more ghosts if possible. So I've got this sort of largish ghost, which I love these ghosts. I really love them. And I'll put the link to the pattern or the, the tutorial, of course, below as well. And then I got this little one. So I'd done a few little ones and then I made this big one. And so I want to do more of these so, uh, so that I've got plenty of them. So I think today I'm going to um, get that done. So I'm going to get that done first <laughs> because then I also want to do more axolotls. I've heard or I, I get the impression that this Jeep event, there's going to be a lot of children as well because they have special activities for children. So they've got special Jeep activities for children. So I want to make sure that I've got uh, plenty of child friendly, you know, things that appeal to children, of course. So I want to do some with some things with um, embroidered eyes instead of safety eyes. And um, I've got ducks, rubber ducks for the Jeep thing, but those are more for the adults, I think. Um, and I wanted to do ducks in different colors. There's so much I want to do. Anyway, I think I'm going to take the advice of some other YouTubers that I've seen, YouTube crocheters that I've seen, and actually plan this. Because I've just been randomly each day going, oh, I want to do yeah, a whole bunch of this and a whole bunch of that. And then I start. And then, of course, I only manage. So I think I'm going to do plan for exactly what I'm going to make each day leading up to the event. And I also need to set aside time to um, put all the inventory into Square and organize all of that. And this time I also have ordered an apron from Amazon <laughs> for, for the money in that because I've got a cash box, but it's this big bulky thing with the lock. Um, but I'm, I saw someone with an apron. I thought, well, that's going to be much easier. So I have that should arrive this week. And I think that's all I have to share for now. So I think I will go ahead and edit this, put all these pieces together and get it up for now. And then I will come, I'll do, I'll continue um, for the rest of this week and the next week leading up to the uh, market. And I will post those as we go as well. And then of course, I'll show you how, how, how it goes at the market. I'll take you with me. All right, everybody. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I want to say thank you again to all of the, the uh, YouTuber, YouTube crocheters out there because I am so loving watching your videos while I'm crocheting. All right. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. And um, if you'd like to join my free crocheters group, um, I will put the link on the screen here and in the description. All right. Bye-bye now.